Feedback control or feedback inhibition is used when an enzyme is unable to bind to its specific pathway. It controls the behavior of a specific process of the enzyme to balance production of amino acids. An enzyme is a catalyst that is used to speed up reactions within a cell. Um, we begin with the substrate, which will enter into the very first enzyme. From there, it'll create a new substrate, which will then go into another enzyme. This, will, this process will repeat through another substrate and another enzyme until finally we create the final product. We repeat the process again, substrate to enzyme, enzyme to substrate, substrate to new enzyme, creates a new substrate, to a new enzyme, to the final product. We repeat this process over and over until we have enough product. To prevent a surplus of product, the product enters into the very first enzyme. When a substrate tries to enter into the enzyme at its active site, it will no longer fit and so it bounces off and we no longer have this production of the enzyme or the substrate. So a real life applicable sense of this in feedback inhibition is ATP. ATP goes through a similar process. Um, the production of course is ATP. And what this is useful for is if there again is a surplus of ATP, there needs to be another site where the enzyme changes shape so the substrate cannot bind to it and then that would stop production of the ATP so the cell does not waste extra energy that it needs to to produce more than it actually needs.